Hey, how's it going? This is Jerry Heron here, here to make another YouTube video, and this video is going to be a movie review. In honor that we have 25 more days till Christmas, we're, in, we're now in the 25 days of Christmas blog, and I thought in honor of that I would make a movie review of two of my favorite Christmas movies, Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. These are both my favorite Christmas movies, they're both Christmas classics, I've grown up both these movies. And they're a really big part of my childhood. I've loved these movies since I was a kid. So I'm going to review Home Alone and I'm going to review Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. And I'm going to give you all my opinions on them and which one I like better. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started. Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York movie review, review by YouTuber Jerry Heron. So this is the first Home Alone. The first Home Alone was came out in 1990 that stars Macaulay Conklin, John Hurd, Catherine O'Hara, Daniel Stern, Joe Pesci. It also stars Devin Ratway. And so the film starts off with the family's getting ready to go on a Christmas vacation to um, France. Paris spends time with their extended Christmas family, and everyone's getting ready before their Christmas trip, as always. And the night before, they order a pizza for their nice pizza dinner before they go on their vacation. And Kevin tries to, comes in and tries to find his cheese pizza, which is his favorite pizza. But unfortunately, his brother ruins it for him because his, his brother had to be a bully and eat his entire cheese pizza. And then due to that, Kevin gets into a fight with him and he knocks down everything. He knocks down all these drinks and milk and stuff. And he gets in trouble by his parents. And because he, he got into an argument with his brother and he yelled at his family, he gets sent to bed early without dinner. And then all he tells his parents, his mom, that he all he wants is no family this Christmas. He just wants to be alone and have the whole house to himself. So, therefore, the next morning, they wake up super early because they were in a hurry because they had a, there was a power outage that caused their alarm clock not to work. And they're about to miss their plane, to, their plane flight to Paris, France, to spend time with their, their extended Christmas family. And, therefore, Kevin wakes up uh, out of the third floor and he realizes that his, parent, his family is missing. And he realizes that his dream came true. And, and so, he's all very happy that he has the whole house to himself. But, unfortunately... He, he's not alone all this time because he realized there are two burglars trying to break into his house. Marv and Harry. Marv played by Daniel Stern and Harry played by Joe Pesci. So he has set all these booby traps to defend his house. House to, to, to stop the burglars from robbing his house. Yeah, in which he, in which my, in which I'm going to explain my favorite booby trap. My favorite booby trap in Home Alone is when Marv grabs Harry, gra Marv grabs Kevin's um, leg when he's trying to escape, and then they think that he's caught Kevin, and, and that Kevin's lost the battle, but, uh, but, but luckily Kevin wins the battle because he finds his brother's black tarantula, and he puts it on Marv's face, and then Marv screams like a little girl, and I can imitate him. Woo! <laughs> that scene always makes me laugh. That movie tries my favorite when Mars screams like a little girl when he went down and puts Buzz's black tarantula on his face. Yeah. Then they get arrested at the end, and the next morning, and Kevin's Christmas wish was to have back, bring back his family and take back every mean thing he said to them. And the next morning, his mom comes back, the, the, and the whole family's back in time for Christmas, and Kevin's wish came true. Came true. This also stars um, Robert Blossom, who's the guy that, that 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 Kevin has heard rumors that's not a nice person, but turns to be when he meets him at church before he sets the booby traps. He's actually a very nice guy, and and they and both him and Kevin become friends, which is awesome. I really love that. But yeah, Home Alone definitely a Christmas classic. I think everyone loves the Home Alone movies. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a funny movie to watch. I've grown up with it. All right, now let's move on to Home Alone 2: Lost in New York. Home Alone 2: Lost in New York was released in 1992, and it was set like a year. It was set like two years after Home Alone came out. And there are a lot of people that do say that that the second movie is kind of the same footage as the same thing as Home Alone, except they're all in New York. And they're kind of right. It is true. It, it is kind of the same story, except it's all in New York. But so I thought I thought it was a little different. They had they had some new things. So the first, so the second Home Alone opens where Kevin's family is getting ready to go on their trip to Miami, Florida, and and so. And, and and so um, they're, and they're also getting ready to go to a Christmas pageant, and, and for at their at their Christ, at, the, at the kids' school for a Christmas assembly. And unfortunately, Kevin was trying to cooperate. When it came to a solo, he got he he ends up ruining the assembly by punching his brother because he his brother embarrassed him by doing a a a, a mean prank on him that caused Kevin to be embarrassed and to get laughed at and humiliated. It, 
So they go home and, and Buzz is forced to apologize to his family and forced to apologize to Kevin, but which, of course, he didn't mean his apology because then Buzz called Kevin a trout sniffer. Beat that, you little trout sniffer. Because, of course, the mom forced him to apologize. And then Kevin, of course, had to share the blame because Kevin ruined the assembly. But then he says he's not sorry and he didn't even do it because Buzz humiliated him. And then he gets sent to bed early again. And, and so then, therefore, his mom comes up to talk to him um, and then he says... He makes another wish that all he wants is to go on his own vacation alone without any of them, any of his family, and have the most fun of his life. So, yeah, then the next morning, they, they're, they're getting rid they, they wake up um, late because, um, unfortunately, the father ruined the alarm clock by, by, by mistake, unplugging the alarm clock in their bedroom. And But this time, they make sure they don't leave the house. They make sure Kevin's safe in the airport terminal with them. Good for them. But, unfortunately, at the airport, they get separated because... Kevin was trying to look for batteries in his in his um, dad's bag for um for for his tape recorder, and as they were running, he stops in the middle of the airport to find the batteries, and then once he puts the batteries in the tape tape recorder, another guy goes behind Kevin's dad, and has that's wearing the exact same coat as him, and Kevin thought he was following his dad when he wasn't, but then he ends up in he ends up in the wrong on the wrong airplane. So unfortunately, the excitement where they remember Kevin went down the gym, where Kevin by mistake accidentally boarded the wrong plane. And therefore, he ends up in New York, and he realizes that his wish came true, that he was able to go on his own vacation, but unfortunately, and he has his dad's credit card, and he gets to check himself to the Plaza Hotel and go all these crazy adventures, but unfortunately, there's some bad news. Guess who broke out of jail? You guessed it, Harry and Marv. They broke out of jail during prison riot. So therefore, what's Kevin going to do now? Kevin doesn't have a house to um, sell these booby trucks, but luckily, he has an uncle that lives in, in, um, in, in New York. But they're currently away on vacation, and they're going to, and, and their house is being renovated. And they're, it's the perfect, uh, the apartment's the perfect um, way to set up booby traps That's the, the defend, to defend himself from uh, these two burglars. Yeah, and I do love this movie. It also stars a few other actors. It stars Tim Curry, Rob Schneider, and Brenda Fricker is also in this movie, which I really love. I'm a fan of her. Brenda Fricker is the pigeon lady who Kevin's scared of at first, but then become good friends. And, yeah, and my favorite booby trap of Home Alone 2 is... When Marvin Harry pulled the, the 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 upstairs door open, but then the tool chest starts coming down, and, and Harry's wondering, "What's that sound?" And then the the tool chest bursts through the door and breaks their noses, hits their noses, to be exact. And then Marv goes, "That was the sound of a tool chest coming down the stairs." That is my favorite booby trap of Home Alone 2: Lost in New York. And therefore, at the end, Kevin gets gets right. Kevin finds his family, and they celebrate Christmas at the end, and then. Kevin gives his turtle doves to um to his friend to his friend the pigeon lady who he got from Duncan's toy chest who Duncan the who the, the toy owner who owned the, the toy store said um each one you have your turtle dove you'll be friends forever I really love that message yeah but like I said but if you have to compare if you have to compare the first one to the first Home Alone to the second Home Alone I like the Home Alone two Lost in New York better because it's more funnier because it has more actors in it more stuff and it's all in New York and it's always my dream to go to New York and I find the booby treads are more funnier but Home Alone one will always be a classic but like I said I I mentioned all my favorite booby traps if you want to mention your favorite booby traps from Home Alone or Home Alone two Lost in New York leave a comment down below I highly recommend you do yep. Anyway, that's going to do it for this Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York movie review. See you in my next video. This is Jerry Heron signing off.